In the heart of Beijing, a display of absolute precision. 15,000 soldiers, sailors, paramilitary police, air force, all saluting their commander in chief. China's President Xi Jinping put on this display to show off the country's might after 70 years of communist rule. The message is clear. China is an increasingly advanced military power under the control of a strongman leader. Forging ahead, we will remain committed to the leadership of the Communist Party of China and put people first. Mr Xi's portrait received the biggest cheer among the thousands of spectators in Tiananmen Square, though the achievements of past leaders were touted too. The country's progress in space exploration, science and infrastructure were all on display, along with some fields that were a little harder to decipher. But this celebration also contained a warning for the world. A new intercontinental missile, supposedly capable of carrying a nuclear warhead 15,000 kilometres, dubbed the longest missile on Earth. And column after column of military hardware, as China showed its ambitions on land, sea and in the air. The People's Liberation Army and the People's Armed Police Force will resolutely safeguard the sovereignty, the security and development interest of the nation and protect world peace. It's not hard to understand how such a stunning show of military might can inspire patriotism among the 1.4 billion people here. It's also not hard to see why it makes other countries so nervous, especially as China is increasingly involved in diplomatic disputes. Even in a celebration, politics is still at play. The ABC was excluded from the broadcast area and barred from taking a professional camera in, while other Australian media were snubbed altogether, a likely result of a strained diplomatic relationship. As China's power rises, it's drawing ever clearer lines on what it will tolerate from others. Bill Bertels, ABC News, Beijing.